Everybody, this is Craig from Orkspring, and today we have a pretty simple tutorial showing you how to get set up with a personal Facebook account. This is the very basic method of getting on Facebook, the world's largest social media platform currently, and this is a great place to be for your nonprofit or your organization. The idea that you want to get your message out to as many targeted people as possible is one of the better ideas in terms of developing your support base, your donor base, and your social media following. Being that Facebook has many hundreds of millions of people logged in every day, it's one of the best places to get your message in front of as many people as possible. Ultimately, you want to develop over time a list of targeted followers on Facebook, but to do that, you first need a Facebook account. So we're going to show you how to set that up. The first thing you'll do is go to the Facebook web page, and we have that ready to roll here, and it's just facebook.com, pretty simple. And the only thing you need to get started with a Facebook account is a valid email address. And we have in one of the other tutorials we showed you how to set up a Facebook page and we called it the John Smith Foundation it was just a basic foundation so we're going to use our personal email to set up a Facebook account and we'll show you how to do that right now up here in the Facebook page you will see sign up it's free and it always will be which is great so we're gonna put some information in here John Smith and our email is John Smith Foundation at gmail.com. This is not, uh, well, it is a real email address. It's just a dummy address that we're using for this tutorial. So please don't send us email at this address. No one will answer it. And it wants us to re enter the information, and we're just going to type a password in. select a sex and they want your birth date so we'll leave this pretty simple you need to be at least 13 years old to use Facebook so be cognizant of that it won't let you continue without putting in a birth date and then <clears throat> you will hit sign up and it's going to give you a security check to make sure you're a real person and not a spam bot so you'll fill this out here sometimes these are hard to read so I'll do my best It'll do its working in the background, populating the information that you put in, and once it's done, it will come up with your new Facebook account. And you'll notice that this looks a lot like creating a Facebook page for your nonprofit or your organization. It's just going to go through some simple things here. It's going to ask you if your friends are already on Facebook, and you could find out if you're using Gmail, which we are, and it notices that. You can hit Find Friends. It'll log into your Gmail account and try to pull your contacts. So you can click that, and it will pull your contacts in, post a note to your wall, and let any friends that you have in terms of your Gmail contacts know that you're now on Facebook. It's always a good idea to use this because you can get your information out to a lot of people. We don't have any contacts inside John Smith Foundation since it's a dummy account, so we're going to skip this step. Fill out your profile info. This is just some basic information that can go on your profile. We recommend filling it out now. It's always easy to fill out later, and we'll show you how to do that as well. But for now, we'll just put some information here. And you'll see that once you start populating it, it comes up with information that might be the right school. So we'll just continue. And it doesn't look like it's pulling up my school, so I'm just going to leave it blank there. I'll leave the end year blank so as not to date myself on this video. And you could put your employer down if you wish people to know your employer. If you want to keep it more personal, you could leave that blank. We'll hit save and continue. And then it's giving me some people that I might know, and this is based on the high school that I plugged in and also the college that I plugged in. I'm not going to take time to reach out to these people now, so I'll just skip this step. It's asking me to select a profile picture, or you can upload a photo from your computer or take a photo with your webcam. 
Since this is a personal page, the easiest way is just to take a photo with your webcam. But if you have a photo of yourself on your computer, you can upload that way too. For now, we're going to skip this step. Once you're done with these three things, it will then populate your Facebook page. And this is your new personal Facebook account. And you'll notice on the left-hand sidebar is your welcome message, again asking you to update your email so it can find friends to put on your wall, asking you to upload your picture, and then finding other people you know based on a name or an email. It'll show your news feed, it'll show your messages, your events, and a way to find friends. So this is your welcome page right here. Now it's giving you a message up top that says, John, go to Facebook, I'm sorry, go to John Smith Foundation at Gmail. That's the email address we put in to complete the sign up process. So what we'll do is we can come back up here and we can go to Gmail, which is our email account. And you would do this on your own as well, depending on whatever email that you use. And you'll notice I have an email right here from Facebook. So we'll click on this. I'll show the images and it's giving us some information. Your account has been created. It's easier than ever. So we will hit get started and this will essentially confirm our account through Facebook. Again, it takes us back through this process. It wants us to put in friends and updates. We're going to skip this process for now. So up here you'll see your name, John Smith. We're going to go back and this takes us to the wall. Now you'll notice this is a little bit different than it was before. Before we confirmed our email address, we didn't see our full wall page. We just saw a getting started tab. Now we see our wall, our info, photos, notes, friends, and subscriptions. So for instance, here is our info tab, which lists some of the information we put in earlier. Studied at Lehigh University, born on the date that I entered, where I work, we left blank, you'll see some of the other information here. And these you can edit by clicking on these tabs. If I want to add some books that I read, I would click Add Books. If I want to add movies that I like, I can click that there as well. You can also click these Edit tabs to edit some of this information. For example, if I want to change my contact information, I would click Edit here and put some other phone numbers in. Maybe I would put a screen name in. Someone wants to send me a message at Google Talk. And I might put a personal website if I had one. And then I'll save those changes. And you'll notice that if we go back to the profile, view my profile, those have been added down below. The phone number we added is there. Essentially, that's it. In just a few moments, you've created a Facebook account, a personal Facebook account for yourself, and you can now start connecting with friends. If there are people you know out in Facebook land, you could type their information up here. Say, for instance, you want to look for other John Smiths. You can start typing, well, hey, there's a John Smith in Nashville, Tennessee. You could look at his information and maybe send him a friend request. There are other things that you can do. You could take a look at your wall. And this is where you would post a status update. So you might post something like this. It's asking us to take a tour, which you can do if you're not familiar with Facebook. We'll hit no thanks for now. I just created a Facebook page. Say hi. And then you post, and it puts that onto your wall. Now, for people who don't understand Facebook or don't understand what a wall is, a wall for Facebook is where you put posts and updates. It's where you send out information to your fans and followers. People can also comment on that link. They can leave a comment here and it'll show up just below the post from whomever comments. So actually I can comment on my own link. Nice post. And then hit enter. Now what would happen is if someone else was commenting on this, obviously it wouldn't show up John Smith. It would show up with their Facebook account. So you can go and have a conversation on Facebook just like this. And you'll notice the comments thread. If someone responds to this, it'll be in line below it. You can also add photos to your Facebook page. If you have personal photos, photos of your family, you could put them here. And then when you want to see who has become your friend on Facebook, you would click on this friend page. 
Again, when you're just starting, it's going to ask you to find email contacts or add classmates, depending on the schools that you've gone to. You can also add friends, coworkers, and other classmates. This is a great way to expand your base of supporters. By using your personal Facebook account, you can connect with coworkers or people with whom you've worked in the past. You can also connect with potential supporters who have been to your organization or who have donated to your organization on a personal level in addition to creating a Facebook page for your nonprofit and connecting to them that way. On your wall, you can post information and updates about your organization or your personal life and people who you become friends with will see that. And you take a few moments and play around with your Facebook page. Go out and send some friend invites to people you might know or other people who seem interesting on the web that you might want to connect with either personally or for your organization. If you have any comments, please leave it on this post inside the text version of this blog post. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop us a line. We also recommend taking a look at our other video tutorial, which shows you how to set up a Facebook page for your organization or your nonprofit. Thanks for watching this video. This is Craig from OrgSpring. We hope to see you again soon.